In the last module, we learned about the basics of how call queues in Asterisk are configured, and we set up an example queue called support. But we didn't assign any members to the queue, so it really wasn't a complete example. In this module, we introduce a concept of static queue members, which is one of the two main methods of assigning members to a queue. We'll then use the static queue members to expand the example from the previous module. Remember that the term member in Asterisk means an endpoint configured to service calls from a queue. Static queue members are permanently assigned to a queue. When a queue member is statically defined, it is always logged into the queue as long as the endpoint is powered on and connected to Asterisk and the queue module is loaded in Asterisk. Static queue members are configured directly in queues.conf. Let's take a look now at how to configure a static queue member. We will add our new static members to the queues.conf example we started in the previous module. We configure a simple static member by typing member equals greater than followed by the member name, written just like in the dial plan as technology slash device name. There are a few additional options that can be specified after the member name, but we won't cover them in this course. Qs.conf.sample describes these options if you'd like to learn more. The member name is what Asterisk will try to ring when there's a call queued. It should be an actual device or endpoint, such as a SIP or analog phone, that someone can answer. Static members are defined one per line, just like any other queue option. A member is only added to the queue under which the assignment is made. To have the same member in multiple queues, they must be individually listed in the section defining each queue. Statically defined queue members are useful for troubleshooting. Because they are always logged in, it makes it easy to test queues with them. However, static queue members are not ideal for some real-world queuing needs for the same reason. Having a member logged into a queue anytime Asterisk is running can be problematic because most endpoints don't constantly have someone monitoring them for incoming calls. There are some applications where static queue members are the perfect tool, but there's also a clear need for queue members to be able to log in and log out based on their availability. We'll see how Asterisk handles this in our next module on dynamic queue members.